these five minute videos are absolutely driving me nuts. I am so sorry. Uh, the tail is left. Move that down a bit. So I've got the tail is left. Oops. <laughs> so the tail is left. Sigma for mu 25. Does my head in. It absolutely does my head in. Why is this this one machine? I'm the only person who does videos. Why am I in a room where I can't actually do videos? Why? Why me? Why? Right, so if I look it up, 0 0.200577. Oh, you donkey. It's all going wrong now, isn't it? Right, left. Here we go. I'll try again. 0 0.205. Seven seven, but there's another zero in there, isn't there? I think I might give up, you know. Twenty one point six four. Yeah. So it gives me twenty one point six four. God. <laughs> Why is it so annoying? So it gives me an alpha. It was twenty one point six four. So I had to really think about that one because it told you that the bit between twelve and alpha were not point two. So I found out what the probability for the 12 was, then added the 0 0.2 to find out the alpha. That's not all really straightforward, is it? Let's have a look at number one. Hopefully this one will be a little bit more straightforward. So it says, uh, so it says the weight of a three month old piglet is normally distributed with a mean of 10 and standard deviation of 2.5. So I know it is 10 comma 2.5 squared. 93.32% of the piglets weigh less than that number. So the probability that x is less than alpha is 0 0.9332. So it's a left hand tail, really. But if you look, the area is that big. I want my alpha value over here. And that area is 0 0.932. So my tail is left, my area is 0 0.9332, uh, sigma is 2.5, and mu is 10, so that's what I'm going for. So let me find my calculator. I'm going to give up after I've done this lesson. <laughs> it's all going wrong, left and 0 0.9332, 2.5. And 10. So it gives me a weight of 13.75 kilos. There, there you go. Now there's two questions for you. So hopefully you can do them and I don't need to. Then after that, it's questions. So if I show you those answers. So eels in a river. There. There. Hopefully that's okay. So both of these are NCD, whereas this one's an inverse. And then another one. There. Hopefully that's okay. And then there's some consolidations. That's the end of that lesson. Whoopee! We've managed it with all my little videos doing my heading.